Hello everyone and welcome to the Memory Mixer Design Studio. I am actually so excited to tell you fonts are back. We have figured out what the challenge has been and I am going to show you today how you can fix it on your computer as well. So what happened is Windows decided that they were going to have people when they put in new fonts that they would just put in only for that user's use and not for the system wide, which is where Memory Mixer looks. It looks at all of the system fonts, but Windows quit installing it there automatically. But we have instructions today so you can install your fonts. So I'm going to first show you how to install the fonts that you want to use in Memory Mixer that are already on your computer. And then I will show you how to download new fonts and how to go from the beginning. So the first thing we're going to do, and I think this is the easiest way, is you're going to create a new folder on your desktop. So if you see my cursor here, I'm going to right click and then see right here it says new and I'm going to create a folder and it appears right here on my computer and I am just going to type my fonts. So that is the name of our folder and I am just going to, um, let's see, left click on it and drag it so we can put it up here so we can see it while we have Memory Mixer open. And I hid my folders, my photos over here, because I want to use as much of the computer screen as possible. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here to this little folder that is um, your Windows Explorer. Not the Internet Browser Explorer, but just File Explorer here on your Windows computer. And that will open up. And I'm going to make it just a little smaller so we can fit all we need to do. And now I am going to go to my computer or my PC. And there's a couple of ways you can get there. We actually are going to the C font or the C drive. And so if you will click on desktop, see how this PC comes up? So you could then click on that and now you'll see your drives that are associated with that computer. Or you could scroll down further and you could see your C drive, local disk C. So we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on Windows. And that allows us to see all of the fonts installed on your computer in one location or another. It doesn't show you just the ones that are installed for all users. So, but that makes it easy for us. So I'm just gonna double click on that and it will open. And now you can see all of the fonts that are installed on your computer. And it's really nice because you can see a little thumbnail of what they look like for most of the fonts. There are a few that you might see um, symbols. That one I just double clicked on it and it is just symbols. So I will go back to my font, but maybe this one here, this is what it looks like. So then you can decide if you want to save that font. So what we're doing is I have some text over at Memory Mixer and this allows me to then scroll through my text folder and see what text we have and what we want, what fonts we have, sorry. So what I do is I look over here and I'm like, okay, those are fonts I would like because I can see them then that looks like a cute font. I am going to concentrate on a couple of different fonts for us. So the first one I wanted to do is, it's called Awesome. Not Awesome Darling, but just Awesome. So I'm gonna click down here or scroll down, scrolled a little too far and look for awesome. And it's here, awesome regular. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on that font and drag it up here to my new font folder. And you can see how the font folder, my font folder 
gets highlighted and it says copy to my fonts. So I am just going to go there and now if I were to double click on my font folder, you can see I have awesome in there. So we're gonna do a couple of them. The next one I want to look for, um, and remember, you're just gonna scroll down here and compare side by side what fonts that you want to see in Memory Mixer that you have on your computer. So another one I'm looking for is Tequila. So I am just gonna scroll way down here and see if I have tequila on this machine. I know I don't, but I'm gonna come over here now. QRST, let's see, we're getting close. I have lots of fonts, so it takes a little minute for it to make it through. So tequila regular, it's really a fun, whimsical font. So remember, I am just selecting it, and now I'm going to left click and drag it up to my font folder. And make sure it's copying. And then um, Tequila is from FontSkeek. So if you want that font, it's really a fun one. And then the last font that I know I don't have in Memory Mixer, but I want to be able to have, have is Blackboard. And this one is found at defont.com. Okay, let's see. We're getting close. Let's see here. Okay, here it is just up here, Blackboard Regular. So I'm just gonna select it by clicking on it. And again, I'm gonna drag it and see it says copy to my fonts. And now I am just gonna let it go there. If I open this folder, we will now see those three fonts that I have copied over there. So I can close Memory Mixer, because if you remember, um, that when Memory Mixer is starting, that's when it looks at all of your fonts. So you wanna make sure Memory Mixer is closed. And then you'll be, um, I close my Windows folder too, just clean up my desktop a little bit. And now I'll double click on my fonts and it's opened here. And now normally you would double click on your font and then you see install. That is what we have all done for all of these years, but n if you install now, it will only install on your user account, and Memory Mixer can't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that window, and now I'm gonna right click on the font, and if you see here, it says install, and right below it, it says install for all users. And that's all you need to do. I just clicked on it and that's it. I'm gonna come back here to the same one here, install for all users. Now, some of you, when you um, right click on it, you may not see install for users up front. It may um, have a shorter menu and then it says other options and you'll just click on that and that's where you'll see install for all users. If you have any questions, please give our office a call so we can help you. Um, we have tried to go through all the different scenarios as to how to install for all users. And those are the two we have come up with. So if you're running into a glitch, give us a call and we can certainly help you. So now I can close that window. I'm going to open Memory Mixer again. And it'll take just a second here. See, now it's loading the system fonts. So we want to make sure, I'm just gonna come back to my font test and we're just gonna do a quick little check to make sure those fonts are here. So one of them was Blackboard and sure enough, there it is. Look what a cute font it is. I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger than you can see it better. So that's Blackboard. Awesome, let's see. Just plain awesome. You can see how cute that one is as well. A nice little script font. 
And then the other one we did was tequila. And it's just a whimsical font too. But I really love how you can put fonts together and come up with totally different looks. So let's see here. Okay, so we're going to change to tequila. I didn't see it when I went through, so I just hurried and went back and clicked on the right clicks we were doing before. Did install to all users, and it is here. So I apologize for that little bit of a delay. So there is our tequila font. Look what a crazy font that is. So you can see fonts are back. I am so excited. I know you will be too. So thanks for stopping by. Happy mixing. Okay, I also wanted to show you how easy it is to download fonts and make sure you understood from the very beginning. So one of my favorite font places to go is dafont.com. And that is D-A-F-O-N-T dot com, which I have opened their website now. And the first font that we installed on our um, little example I just showed you, our little tutorial, included awesome. And I've just come here and I typed in awesome and several things have come up. One of them um, being this awesome and one was here, this awesome. And you're just going to download this one. This is the one I have. And you see it comes in my downloads folder. Or you can um, use the file explorer to get to your downloads folder as well. But notice you see a little zipper on this file folder. And that means it is zipped. So we need to make sure that we extract it. So I've gone to open file. And that brings me this and now extract all and it's like okay where do you want to do this where do you want to install it and so you can put it on your desktop folder my fonts so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that quick so I'm just gonna browse to desktop and there's my fonts folder and you just select that and say select folder and now click on extract and I already have one in there because we've done it. But you would just then add it to that folder and then you would install it just like we did on the first tutorial. You just need to make sure that when you download your fonts that you would extract them and then go to that extracted file. That's how you'll get to access installing for all users. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am so excited to give you this news and can't wait to see you next time. Happy mixing.